we have low pressure here and high pressure over there. Yeah, but what do you, what do you call it? A local what? I don't remember what this word was. You tried to call it lo local once. It's a force four five. With winds gusting up to six. Exactly a week ago today, we left Bora Bora in the French Polynesia. Accounting for the international dateline, it took us six days to get here, the same as from Easter Island to Polynesia. We are now sailing into the Bay of Islands, that's in the southwest corner of the Polynesian Triangle. The other points of the Triangle are Easter Island itself and Hawaii up in the north. These past two days have been rather stormy. Technically, we've had gale force winds. This morning, though, looks to be much calmer. In fact, I can see an early glow, and that suggests a good morning on land. So we just dropped off the pilot. As I mentioned, we are approaching the Bay of Islands. This is the southwest corner of the Polynesian Triangle. At the time, Abel Tasman, and later, of course, Captain Cook, roamed these parts as the first Europeans, the Polynesians had been traveling from New Zealand up to Hawaii and over to Easter Island for centuries. The Viking's son dropped anchor and let the captain go ashore. The captain and crew then exchanged their obligatory paperwork with the locals and the crew got the two tenders ready for us to go to Watangi. Watangi, by the way, means weeping waters in the Maori language. The red line shows the route of the tenders. We went from the boat to the yacht club and there picked up one of the local boats for a tour of the islands. Waitangi is pretty important to the folks in New Zealand. In fact, their national day is called Waitangi Day. What it does is to commemorate the signing of a treaty of Waitangi, which was between the British and the Maori way back in February of 1840. Basically, what the treaty says is that anybody can live in New Zealand and the British can make rules about behavior and see to it that everybody obeys them. In reality, it made the Maori British subject and Queen Victoria the sovereign of New Zealand. Waitangi is the most northerly biggest city in New Zealand. It's a recreational area in addition to being a historic site. There must be at least 150 islands in this bay, and it's obviously a sailor's delight. Um, so the large lobsters tend to get, do you know the size of a standard dive tank? So uh, body size, that sort of size, is a, a good crayfish. The legal size is much shorter than that though, so um, you won't see that many massive dive bottle sized lobsters coming out of the water. So here you have on the right just another example of a, a rock that's fallen off of his friend. So here you have on the right. That's where we're going. That's what I thought. Dead ahead, man. Dead ahead. Top of the cave. And over time, these caves just get bigger and bigger. And actually, this cave is a wee bit of a tunnel. So it carries on all the way through to the other side. 
swimming, yes. <laughs> yeah, you've been through swimming, but not Coming, but not quite with elbow. Yeah. Are we was to be the highlight for Margaret, which where we could go swimming. Barry, on the other hand, decided to climb to the top of the hill, from which there's a great view of the few sailboats, and also a good panorama of all 150 islands, or whatever they are, in the Bay of Ireland. is probably at its warmest about now, so the end of February, start of March. So well done, you have uh, hit peak season. And it's a whole lot quieter because everyone's gone back to school and work. Acts as a waypoint for the Polynesian navigators. One of the other points on that triangle is on Easter Island. And the final place, the final corner of the Polynesian Triangle, is right ahead of us now, Raku Manga Manga. So the highest peak on the Cape Breton Peninsula, just off to the right of the bow now. That is the third corner, the third point of the Polynesian Triangle. And this is the furthest south that the Polynesians migrated to. So a very special and sacred place for the local Māori and indeed for um, New Zealand Aotearoa as a whole. This area is known as Kerry Kerry. It's tidal up to this area. Behind the tree here is an old stone building. In fact, it's called the Stone Store at Kerry Kerry, and it's New Zealand's stone building. It was originally a missionary society station, but it has since been used as a boys' school a storage facility and a grocery store before being taken over by the state. Just upstream we have the Rainbow Falls.
It was rather late for lunch, but the George looked rather tempting. We got a seat by the window and could watch the ferryboats coming in. Also, we met a couple all the way from Ellensburg, Washington. So, cheers. We took the bus back to the yacht club and there Margaret learned how to say hello and goodbye, Marista. And then we went back to the boat and said goodbye to Otangi. <laughs> 